Hi friends, Miss Ellen here with Lighthearted Learning. I hope you're doing well. We're going to talk about habitats today because I have a book called Whose Habitat Is That? And it's a story by Lucille Piketty. And it's a story about animals in their habitat. Now it doesn't have to be just animals, it can be plants or something else, but we're going to talk about animals today in their habitat. So we need to know what a habitat is. Habitat is a three syllable noun and what it is, is it's a natural home or environment of an animal, plant or other organism. It's basically their home, where they live, okay? So it could be something like a desert or an ocean, all right? So where the animal or plant would be found, okay? So well, we're going to sing a song today that I made up and it's called Whose Habitat Is That? And we're going to talk about these animals because these are the animals in the book. And I want you to pay really close attention, attention so you know by the end of the story who lives in which habitat. Okay? All right. So the, this is a polar bear and it, he's going to be in the story. And a tiger, a mandrel monkey, a hippopotamus, and a toucan. All right? So who lives in muddy rivers? Who lives in muddy rivers? Whose habitat, whose habitat, whose habitat is that? Who lives in the Arctic Circle? Who lives in the Arctic Circle? Whose habitat, whose habitat, whose habitat is that? Who lives in a rainforest? Who lives in a rainforest? Whose habitat, whose habitat, whose habitat is that? Who lives in a mangrove, who lives in a mangrove? Whose habitat, whose habitat, whose habitat is that? Who lives in the Arctic Circle? Who lives in the Arctic Circle? Whose habitat? Whose habitat, whose habitat is that? Who lives in sub-Saharan Africa? Who lives in sub-Saharan Africa? Whose habitat, whose habitat, whose habitat is that? All right, boys and girls, now we're going to pay attention to the story so you will be able to answer that question at the end. All right, so here we go. Whose habitat? is that? Whose habitat is that? My habitat is the Amazon rainforest in South America. It is, it is the biggest tropical forest in on earth and is very hot and wet place. I am always dressed to impress. I have black feathers on my body and a bright white chest. I look a bit like I'm wearing a smart suit. I have a bright blue ring around my deep black eyes, but my beautiful beak is my main party piece. It is orange and yellow like a sunset, and it makes me stand out from the crowd. I have a big beak, but it doesn't weigh me down because it is hollow inside. It helps me keep my cool in the hot rainforest by spreading out all of my body heat. I use my beak as a knife, fork, and spoon all in one. It has serrated edge and I use it to pick fruit from the trees as a snack. I also eat eggs, berries, little creatures such as mice and flying insects. If I can move my tongue and catch them fast enough, I carve my home in a high up tree trunk. My babies will stay safe and sound in our high up nest. I'm a high flyer and I like to stick to the tops of the trees when I'm out and about. I have plenty of friends and I'm very sociable in the rainforest. Can you guess who I am? Did you get it boys and girls? Let's see. You ready? <gasps> Did you get it? It's a toucan. You want to see that again? That's pretty cool, huh boys and girls? It's a toucan. Did you get that? Okay, let's try the next one. Let's find the next habitat. My habitat is cool and icy, but that's the way I like it. I live a solitary life. That means by themselves. 
near the North Pole in the Arctic Circle. As I trudge across snow-crusted ice sheets, I look across the immense sparkling ice flow all around me. I'm one of the biggest meat eaters on land, second only to my Alaskan cousin, the Kodiak bear. I'm a master of disguise. As light reflects off each hair, my fur appears white, but in fact, it is perfectly colorless. It makes the perfect stealthy camouflage on the ice flow. Under my fur, my skin is jet black. The color black absorbs light and helps to keep me warm. I even have fur in the bottom of my paws that acts a bit like gloves. I'm so good at keeping warm that sometimes I have a roll around in the snow to cool down. I have a thick layer of fat which even keeps me toasty when I swim a long way in icy water. I love seafood, especially seals and fish, but I'm not too fussy. When I get the chance, I also hunt birds, reindeer, and musk ox. But I have to be feeling energetic. If meat is hard to find, I will eat berries and roots. My family is in terrible danger. The survival of my species depends on the ice flow, but it is melting more and more each year. Each winter, my habitat gets smaller and it is harder for me to find enough food. Can you guess who I am? Did you get it? Let's see. Oh, there he is. It's a polar bear. Did you see that? Oh, I bet you got that one, right? Okay, the next habitat. I live between the arid savanna and the shade of the tropical forest of sub-Saharan Africa. I am a furry, warm-blooded mammal, and I have a strong, muscular body. My face is very long and colorful. My nose and chin are bright pink, and my cheeks are a dazzling electric blue. My fur coat is sleek and silvery gray, but when I turn around, you will see my bright red bottom. I have strong teeth for crunching through nuts and bark and roots, but I'm not too picky. I eat fresh fruits, vegetables, seeds, and on special occasions, I might gobble up an unlucky small furry creature. Leopards and panthers try to catch me for their dinner, but if I spot them, I do my best to clamber up a tree and out of their way. I live with loads of friends and family. A few of the biggest and strongest males, those are the boys, are in charge and make sure we are safe and that no other creatures or rival groups bother us. I was sacred in ancient Egypt. I was the animal associated with the god Thoth, who is god of writing, magic wisdom, and the moon. Just before dawn, we talked to each other using shrieks and cries. The ancient Egyptians thought that our morning chorus had the power to make the sun rise. Can you guess who I am? Do you have it, boys and girls? It's a mandrel monkey. Did you see that? It's a mandrel monkey. I bet you got that one too. All right, here's another habitat. I am a huge and powerful mammal. I like to wallow in the muddy rivers and lakes south of the Sahara Desert in Africa. I'm just as at home in it or out of the water. This means I am semi-aquatic. My closest cousin is a whale, but unlike a whale, I have legs that I can use for swimming in water or walking on the land. My legs are very short and sturdy to hold up my barrel-shaped body and giant head. A big head means a big mouth and my special skill is opening mine up very wide. My eyes, ears, and nostrils are at the top of my head. This means I can see, hear, and breathe easily when I'm swimming. My nostrils even have a special valve which closes when I dive so I don't drown. I make my own sunscreen. I am a sensitive beast and burn easily in the hot African sun. 
As well as cooling down in the river water, my sweat is a thick pinkish liquid that acts just like sunscreen and protects my skin. It also makes me look a, a rather fabulous shade of pink. I love a midnight feast. It's too hot to do anything in the day, so I rest when the sun is high in the sky and eat at night. I live in a group led by one bossy male. That's a boy again. I'm very sociable with my friends, but humans watch out. I am one of the most dangerous animals in the con on the continent of Africa. I like to let people know who's boss in these parts. This is my patch. Keep off. Can you guess? Who I am? <gasps> did you get it? It's a hippopotamus, friends. Did you get the hippopotamus? I hope so. Okay, last habitat. I am the biggest cat on the planet and also one of the world's biggest meat eaters. I prowl the tropic, tropical forest mangroves and tanga, which is another type of forest of Asia. I lurk amid the lush vegetation and wait to pounce on passing creatures. I prowl at dawn and dusk when the air is cooler and there is still just enough light to see. My favorite foods are deer, wild boar, and buffalo, but I also love to eat monkeys and crocodiles if I get the chance. Once I make a kill, I like to take my dinner to a quiet spot where I can dine in peace. My fur is a rich russet orange, but my tummy, throat, and cheeks are bright white. I am famous for the beautiful black stripes all over my body that are as unique to me as your fingerprints are to you. I love to go fishing and I am very good at it because I am a strong and quick swimmer. I have the longest canine teeth, those are the pointy ones, of any cat and I have retractable razor sharp claws. Perfect tools for getting hold of a slippery fish. I am in great danger and need to be protected. There are fewer than 4,000 of my kind left in the wild. Can you guess who I am? Do you remember who's the last one we didn't do yet? Who is it? It's a tiger! It's a tiger! Did you get all the animals in their right habitats, my friends? All right, you learned a lot listening to that story. All right, until next time, my friends.